Mm -hmm. Hello and welcome to a demonstration how to make a fast and simple animation uh, just using a recording that you have done and then importing it to uh, a mocap link and then exporting it to Blender to Roblox Studio. So the first thing you're going to need to do is uh, create an account in uh, Flask, Flask and uh, you just need to press here to sign up and once you have signed up you can select uh, get started uh, i already have our pre-recorded footage so i'm just going to drag and drop it here type motion that's correct uh, and uh, on the sides here you can adjust the length and so on what you do uh, in my case, I don't need to, so I'm going to take all the motion. It's going to call it bounce. Yes, that's what it is. And uh, then you're going to need to uh, install this uh, Roblox plugin for, uh, for Roblox. You can install it here. Yes, log in and try that. Or you could... Uh, just install it from the Roblox plugins. You could search it in the toolbars, uh, toolbars and try to install it there by searching this name. Yeah, it's sufficient with just Blender because that's enough to find it. Yes, and then you're going to need to use the Blender add-on, which enables you to export and import uh, animations and rigs in between Roblox Studio and Blender. So, basically, you take that one, save it as a pie file, and uh, somewhere. And uh, once you have done that, you can uh, go to Blender. Oh, spoiler. <laughs> yeah, you go to Edit Mode, Preferences, and uh, you just go here, Install. Press install, find the pi, uh, pi file that you installed uh, or saved in the hard drive. And then you can uh, also on the main one, select the developer extras, then go to the add-ons and also take uh, simplify curves. You can find it with simplify curves here. And the other one you can find it with RBX. Make sure they're both enabled. Yes, and uh, shift plus F. And uh, then you're gonna need to download this file that I have done, which is uh, like um, uh, it simplifies the project uh, uh, conversion. So you download it here. All links are gonna be in the description, so no worries there. And now the animation is done. Then we'll go to mannequin. Uh, open it up and then drag it to mannequin. And here we can press the export. And this takes a bit of seconds. I could open plastic.robox. Um, basically, the file I told to open, uh, download here. Yes. Here it is. Uh, we should go back. Oh. Yes, now um, I got, um, I'm going to save the FBX that I tried to export here. We'll write it, yes, mean one to over. It's done. And now we'll go to Blender and now we import um, the FBX file. Uh, here it is. The default option is okay. Go with that. And now I have made like a script that basically um, mimics, takes the animation from the imported FBX. So it's uh, like a simple retargeting. Press here. And now you can choose the Plask A pose, uh, select all bones, then uh, uh, make sure that you have the last frame that you want, set it to 200. And then you can uh, press F3 and then press bake action, select bake action. 
uh, select only selected bones, visual key and, and clear constraints. Boom. Oh, okay, cool. Mm, there, the animation is copied. Now we don't need, no longer need the FPX one. Uh, I'm gonna also remove the body because I kind of don't need it. It's only for reference for if you want it. Um, the camera is a bit, um, the character is a bit angled because I had the camera not facing forward. I had it facing a bit down. And now we're gonna take the Roblox plugin or the Roblox imported version that I already done. And now we're gonna basically take this one, try to scale it, probably match slightly. Um, and we're gonna rotate it 180 degrees because we want um, the character to be facing in that direction where the arrow is going. And uh, now we're gonna place it down. Um, like that, it's slightly tilted due to the camera angle that I showed before. And GC. In case you want the animation to be completely um, by default, I have added a constraint here, which um, basically limits the location, which makes you, you can't move in the X and Y side. Uh, uh, axis is it's so you stand on place basically so if you play like the animation you won't be for moving forward mm. i didn't do it in this case but that's only if you want the character to stand still uh, you can remove it in case you want to do like an animatic or like a dialogue or something of a similar kind, then you just press here to delete it. But on this case, I'm gonna keep it. So, select all bones, and then I select bake action. I use the same options, press OK. And now we're gonna remove the plastic pose too, because it's no longer be needed. And uh, now the animation is a bit um, janky. A bit shaky, kind of. Mm, so we're going to smooth the animation. You can press here uh, on the graph editor and then press smooth keys. And now you should have a, like a smooth animation. Mm, without too much detail loss. We also, we're also going to... Um, make less keyframes so we're going to use the simplified curves that we enabled before and here we're gonna take the and change the it to 0 0.5 and that is gonna give us all these saved keyframes for every bone so now if we play it you can see that we didn't really lose that much detail Mm, less data to load also so now it's ready to be imported and we press export animation here but in roblox we need to import it uh, create the character so it's ready to be imported so we can use the default build rig and uh, then take block rig here basically place it over there and uh, the blend animation is a tool uh, plugin that you should have installed and I'm gonna use it now, press on it, then it asks you to select the rig, press that rig, and then we put it on 0, .0, 0, 0. And now we can import animation. So we're gonna do that. So export animation. It's now in the clipboard. And now we're gonna Press import animation, then control B or command C if you're on Mac. And there you have the animation imported in itself. So here you can sh change it if it's gonna be looping or not. In this case, probably not. Uh, you can change uh, priority type here. 
uh, action would be fine in this case. Then you can upload the animation and uh, name it whatever you want, and so on. Uh, if you submit now, you're gonna get, create a new animation. There's also the option to overwrite if you want to. If you do like a different uh, improved version of an animation, then you can overwrite an existing animation if you so want. So yeah, that's the tutorial. Hope you liked it.